going to our previous video, we have already discussed how we can troubleshoot the errors where we have a slow request errors into your Azure websites and also we have seen how we can troubleshoot the website errors. Now here in this particular video, we are going to discuss how we can debug this particular errors remotely from the different location or different region. So for that, what we will be doing is we will be providing or enabling a remote debugging service for a particular authenticated users and we will provide some keys that is your certification keys or the trusted keys so that from any of your location, you can connect to this particular system or your server and debug the errors of your websites. So let us begin with how we are going to do this. So if you want to define any of your user to remotely debug your applications, what you can do is you can move into your application and then um, you need to move into your deployment credentials and just define a credentials for your username and the password you can set here. So I'm going to define this particular user and I'm going to permit this particular user to create and modify or debug the application error if you have. So I'm going to define some password here. Okay, so done. So once you have defined the credentials, save it. Uh, the user will be able to access through your. Okay, so we have already located a Git and we have already defined, I think, some deployment uh, options of your Git. Okay, so I'm going to deploy the option of your GitHub. And uh, we have already defined uh, the grip GitHub credentials, so it will directly fetch the inquiries and, you know, the demo which we have created here, uh, the master branch I want to of your GitHub. So it, GitHub is a repository generally, if you don't know about it, I'm sorry to uh, define this. So this is a repository, the repository we generally, uh, we can locate onto your uh, internet and whenever we require any of the applications to be uh, keep into it, we can store that and we can uh, provide it over the internet. But only the thing you need to always remember that whenever you are using our GitHubs, they have two kind of repository, public and private. If you're using public, it will be able to, you know, uh, visible to everyone here. So ensure that if you are keeping some, you know, uh, your confidential data, keep your data into your private repository. So as of now, I just had a sample code. So I am using a public repository over here. And this username and password I'll be using for um, debugging. So how you are going to allow your users to remotely debug this particular application. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move into my uh, deployment credentials as of now. So deployment credentials will be the same user ID and password, which my uh, GitHub has. Same way he can also use or get access through your GitHub. And the very important thing, we need to move into your application settings. And to application settings, if you scroll down, you just need to enable remote debugging and keep it on as this application is created onto your uh, Visual Studio, you can also define on which version of Visual Studio he can debug this, right? So here it is 2012 and also you can set which kind of application settings he can make. You can define everything about your debugging here. So here I have defined the debugging on and uh, the remote Visual Studio version I'm using that is my 2012 and just after that you can save this. So it will allow your users to remotely debug this particular applications which you have created by using the credentials which you have for your GitHub. 